Hey friends, tonight we are checking in to Disney's Treehouse Villas at Saratoga Springs. A lot of people don't even know that you can stay in a treehouse whenever you come to Walt Disney World. And they are huge. They're three bedrooms, two bathrooms. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm going to give you the full tour. A couple of us decided to get together and have a little Christmas party. We're going to actually drink hot cocoa, have a gingerbread house building contest, have a cookout on the grill, and have a joyful treehouse kind of night. Anywho's. Let's go do this. This is our tree house for the night and look at it. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? I love staying here so much and this one is awesome because it's right on the river. So we're gonna be able to see all the boats going back and forth from Disney Springs to Port Orleans and it's gonna be amazing. And like I said, uh, me and a bunch of friends are all gonna be staying here doing some festive things. I have stayed at the Treehouse Villas a couple of times and I always love coming here and last year I did a Christmas one just by myself. I remember I came here, I stayed, I decorated, I put up a Christmas tree and it was such a fun time but honestly I felt a little bit like lonely. I felt alone because I was all by myself but now I got friends to stay with and I'm very excited to just have fun and hang out and really take in the holiday spirit. Like I mentioned, we're going to have a little cookout. They have uh, charcoal grills at each treehouse. And the best thing about it is how they have like an outdoor patio. And like I said, I'm really loving the view itself because it overlooks the river and you can hear the boats going back and forth. Look at how pretty this is. It's so quiet and peaceful. <laughs> I love it so much. And like the be one of the bedrooms has this view. I just got back from California this morning. We had this booked up for a while, so that's why I had to cut my uh, Los Angeles trip a little bit short. But I think we're going to head right on in and give you a, kind of like a room tour. Show you all the uh, awesome uh, bedrooms and bathrooms and the kitchen and all of the fun stuff. All right, here we go. Treehouse Villa 7026. And like I said, I've got some friends here. <laughs> oh, come on, Papa. You're not Santa. You smell like Mickey pretzels and cheese. <laughs> As you can see, we are definitely in the festive spirit. I wasn't able to bring my Christmas tree this time because, like I said, I just got in from California. But we're still going to be doing a lot of holiday activities and just enjoying our little treehouse Christmas staycation. But here is the treehouse. And like I said, I'm going to give you a little tour. We have like a full kitchen. I also like how they have the bar stools here. I have so many fond memories of staying here. And like I mentioned before, we plan on doing some gingerbread building we have some charcoal the full kitchen here comes with a fridge a stove dishwasher everything and I love the living room spot I think this is where I had my Christmas tree last time like everything is just so beautiful in here one of the bedrooms here is the master bedroom and this one has such an amazing view look at it I love it so much in here especially the headboard and like I said it's very big tall ceilings too like I mentioned, this is three bedrooms, so there's still two more bedrooms I have to show you, another bathroom, a laundry room, and one of the bedrooms actually has bunk beds. Everybody loves bunk beds. And it looks like there's a little bathroom over here, which I'm kind of excited to see. Oh, wow. This is huge. Gigantic shower, a separate area for the toilet. This is really nice. Something that's really cool about staying at the Treehouse Villas is they have that boat actually going back and forth and there's uh, a loading dock here that you can actually take it to Disney Springs. In fact, the walk to Disney Springs from here isn't too bad, well from Saratoga Springs, but you could just hop the boat right over to Disney Springs and back over here like in a jiffy. It looks like the master bedroom is the only bathroom that has its own bathroom, but I'm going to go show you guys the other bedrooms now. and. Uh, they share a bathroom itself, but it's actually really cool. I did notice that the beds themselves are very low to the ground, so there's no getting under the bed this time. I wish, but not today. Might as well take a quick peek in the fridge here. And for once, it's actually fully stocked. I mean, we've got everything. Wait, where's the French vanilla creamer? That was supposed to be on the list. I asked you for the list. 
Oh. <laughs> Here is one of the other bedrooms, and this is the one that has the bunk beds. Look at it, it's actually very nice in here. And I always point out the lamps in here, they're all wood lamps. Look at that. Very fancy, got a nice little corner closet there. I love these rooms. I don't know what's in here. Oh, it's a crib! Hey, there's a crib and a laundry basket! Each room does have a big TV though, so that's actually really cool. And then over on this side is where you have the shared bathroom, which is, I mean, it's a nice little bathroom. It doesn't have like a walk-up shower, but it's very pretty. I like it a lot. Holy moly, you just scared me. <laughs> there's Santa's in the shower! <laughs> there's people everywhere. And then we've got the laundry room here. Look at this. Very fancy. Double decker. Ooh, gotta save that. Taking that home. And then the other bedroom here. Look at this. Oh, it's got its own TV. The closet. Oh, extra pillows. Nice. And some clothes hangers. Very cool. Yeah, I like it a lot in here. The Treehouse Villas are part of Saratoga Springs, and Saratoga Springs is actually home of the DVC Sales Center. And if you're ever interested in becoming a DVC member, you can always reach out to the fine folks over at DVC Resale Market and the world of DVC, and uh, they can definitely get it a lot cheaper for you. And they're all former cast members, but they're the ones that actually supplied us with this treehouse for the night so that we can have a little fun holiday cheer. All right, now that the room tour is done, it's time to dive in and maybe start the cookout. You guys excited? A nice beverage. Yeah, like a little beverage. Prevent forest fires. Yes, everything. <laughs> we got right down Main Street and the Kingdom Crew, and uh, it's gonna be a fun time. And Buddy. Buddy's here. Buddy's Buddy here. Christmas joy. <laughs> Seriously, I just can't wait to sit out here and have coffee and just watch the boats go back and forth. Even just hang out here after a cookout because we'll probably have dinner here on the uh, patio itself or on the deck and just kind of people watch. Hi! That's awesome. All right, we're gonna start cooking out soon. Ange is prepping up the peppers and onions. We got some sausages. What else? We get steak. Steak. We got sausages. Yes. Hot chocolate for later. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. And some white claws and some snickerdoodle Oreos. Very the holidays, fancy. The cheers. It's the holiday. It's the holiday. Where's Buddy? Wait a second. Oh, go back to Santa's workshop to get him ready for Christmas. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I love grilling out at Disney resorts. I think it's just so fun. And especially when you have friends together. And we did this just a couple of uh, weeks ago when we stayed at the uh, cabins at uh, Wilderness Lodge. It was such a fun time. But there they had uh, a regular, they had a gas grill. Here it's a little bit more fancier. Well, I think a little bit more like outdoorsy. All right, we got the grill lit. And uh, Master Chef Kristen. And Angela, okay. you guys are the ones in charge here. Okay. I'm excited. Is she a Clark? <laughs> Isn't she a Butte Clark? Later on, we can toast some marshmallows on here. We'll go around and forge our own sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'll be fun. It's like just <laughs> got the good old char code. Expert griller, grill master. It's not our first grill session here. Nope, nope. <laughs> Ah, hee ha. Who's <laughs> thinking, should I do the full bag? I think that's enough. Okay. But instead of just Mickey Mouse, he's no, always lying. Wow, it's getting really smoky here. You know what you're doing here. Just a random thing. <laughs> Sean was just telling me about some interesting facts about the Treehouse Villas here. I'm no Disney historian, but from my knowledge and my, you know, my reading up and videos, this actually was originally supposed to be open to the public. They were building homes, town homes around, it was like the Disney Village area. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what it was called. And then I think the Disney company scrapped the whole idea once they found out, you know, these people have rights, you know, with the noise complaints and they had, you know, voting rights and other parts of, you know, government, of, you know, government stuff happening. So Disney scrapped that. Then they kind of just, what, they gave them to the ICPs? Yeah, the ICP. College program kids, and now they're Treehouse Villas. Yeah, look at that. And here we are. Here we are now, enjoying nice Corona. 
Merry Christmas. Nate's back. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> I think we're going to need a bigger grill. We are. <laughs> Look at this. We. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Look at that steak, holy moly. We could like put these on top to steam and then like that move was, them over. You could throw those actually right below. Or below? Yeah, you could actually fold it up a little bit and just throw it in there like a little a little knapsack. Ryan started the fire. <laughs> that reference. Ryan started the fire. Yeah. Out of space on the grill. So we're putting we're putting the peppers down. Careful, Angela, careful. Don't careful. burn your fingies. There you go. <laughs> While the grill is cooking up the sausages and steak, I think I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. They have a pool on site here, and it's kind of like, like it's very uh, secluded. Like, it's very quiet over here and very nice, but there's plenty of space in between each of the tree houses, so you have your own, like, privacy, and you can be a little bit loud as long as it's in, the, like, resort hours and kind of just relax and have fun. That's what a lot of people do when they come to these treehouse villas. They either rent them out just for a day for a celebration, like a birthday, or they spend a whole week here, and that's, like, crazy, you know what I mean? I'd love to spend a whole week here. This is our tree house over here, and as you walk around, you go on the pathway, like this is where the next one would be right here. And like I said, they're pretty far away. And then the main street, and you can park your car here. They have uh, parking spots, I think, uh, like two or three for each one. And uh, they're actually decked out for the holiday season. I see some Christmas lights there. It's so nice over here though. I really do love it. And there's a bus route, your own private bus route that actually takes you to the parks. So that's an added benefit as well. I had to switch out my hat because it was starting to get too hot hanging out by the fire on the grill. But now I wanna go over and show you guys the pool area. It's very nice, it's private, it's only for the treehouse villas. And I like it, maybe later on we might go for a dip. Right down that pathway is the boat transportation where you actually take the boat to Disney Springs or Port Orleans. Now this way, we make our way to the pool area. And I like walking around here. Can you hear like the crickets? It's so peaceful. It's very nice. Ooh, and a little wetland too. Probably lots of wildlife. Snakes, alligators, squirrels, squirrels. squirrels. <laughs> here is the pool itself. It's a little tiny quiet pool. Got a jacuzzi over there. Look at these little frog fountains. I love it. That's actually really cool. This is nice. Oh, and there's Christmas music too. And a hot tub. Look at the Christmas decorations. Oh, I love that they're playing Christmas music in here. I think we are definitely coming back later. Oh, I mean, this is so nice. And there's nobody here right now. I love it. Now we made our way back to the tree house and as you can see, it's getting a little bit dark out. It's gonna be hard to cook them sausage at night. The raccoons are gonna get you. Now we're cooking. Things are coming together. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice big old steak, some sausages. Got the peppers and onions cooking down below. Later on, now, don't forget, we'll use the leftover coals to make some marshmallows. Ah, fancy. And the rest of them get put in the naughty kids' stockings. Yeah, and the rest of them, we actually <laughs> drop in Sean's socks later on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, every year, I do like a little Christmas special, and. Like I mentioned before, I did it here at the Treehouse Villas last year. This is not that special. This is kind of like a little friends, like kind of get together, like a friends giving, but for Christmas, I still plan on doing one, uh, but a little bit closer to the holidays and a little bit closer to my birthday. Is this Christmas? Oh, the Christmas spirit has arrived. <laughs> Literally, look at this. Home Alone is on the TV. We're cooking up some food, about to sit down for dinner, Christmas music, and uh, I think uh, some uh, festive lighting is happening outside at the moment. <laughs> oh, look. 
I actually bought this Santa hat from Five Below. It's supposed to be a Mickey one, but the ears like are not like positioned right. It kind of reminds me of Goofy now, the way That's they drip down. I know, I should have got shop Disney. Shop Disney. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Well, nice little fest stuff. They're actually decorated for Christmas over there too. Looks like the table is all set. We got sausages, peppers and onions, steak, some ruffles, Coronas, Coronas, White Claws. Sit, sit, sit down, Dom Tretto. Oh yes, thank you. We're family. <laughs> family. <laughs> oh no, we forgot about the Lehigh special, toasting the buns. Mm. <laughs> the Lehigh special. That is the Lehigh special. <laughs> There's a lot of people that knew that. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Mm. A nice holiday dinner. Oh, Home Alone is still on too. I love it. Polka King in the Midwest. <laughs> I was enjoying my sausage sandwich, but then I realized the sausage is too tiny compared to the bun. The bun sausage ratio is no good. So I cut the sausage in half and then I put some steak in between. So as I'm halfway through eating my sausage sandwich, I can have a little steak and onion sandwich and then continue with the sausage. And I feel like that's a good idea. It's a good way to do it. Look at that though. Can I order ketchup to the room? Ketchup? Now it's time to actually break out the gingerbread houses and I'm excited because we're gonna have a little competition It's gonna be boys versus girls whoever makes the prettiest gingerbread house I think we're gonna do this. We got this. The boys are back in town. It's so funny. Sean's so tired I have to I have to hold the camera like that, but you guys be the judge Let me know in the comments who made the better gingerbread house Looks like it comes all together and you can just put it together. It's got like those little grooves in it And it's got Tootsie Rolls, the Fruit Chews, Double Bubble, Dots. This is gonna be fun. I'm very excited All right, we got all of our building surprise here Got to keep everything together here guys keep the dots away from the Tootsie Rolls and the Bubble Yum away from the Whoppers There we go icing gingerbread we got a little bit of everything. Oh yeah, we should put them on some tin foil. You guys are yeah, so smart. A thing under it. That's why we're gonna win. <laughs> oh. Look at first step done. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, it's gonna be hard for me not to want to eat the gingerbread. Like, can I just like break off a little shingle or and something? That is why they lose. <laughs> like I do. I want to eat yeah, it. Yeah, you should do it. Oh, I'm sure. Listen, they're they're trying to sabotage me. No, there's no scissors. Sean's got a secret weapon. I couldn't find scissors. Look at this. Here's the gingerbread itself. Ooh, it's soft. Oh man. Eat it. I know. I do want to eat it. Oh, here's a little chimney. Look at that. This is our knife. Are we gonna eat our gingerbread like cottages Maybe afterwards? After, sure. Smashing them out of my face. Yes. Loser gets it smashed in their face. Yes. No, no, no. Losers get it smashed Wait, in their yeah, face. Yeah, we have to make a bet here. Yeah, but no, you can this. Because it's got to be voted for in the comments, so therefore, the we don't know gonna who's going to win. Obvious, oh, come on. <laughs> Give it a little massage. Hey. Massage the icing. Massage the key. icing. What is this? That's my room key. This is my door. I had Pluto first. Oh. <laughs> and then you had Mickey, so and then you took the extra Donald yeah, yeah. one, and Chris has been having holding on a minute. So we kept oh, wait, I keep okay, on taking first, different keys? The yeah. together, and then <laughs> the first you want to I'm be Do you guys oh, need me to massage that icing a little bit more? No, sir. All right. Okay, okay, All right, guys, let's get here, these walls together. There you go. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm supervising. I'm supervising here. Oh, You're I'm doing great. Right keep it up. I, got this. I uh, appreciate you. I appreciate you guys so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's leaking. Yeah. Oh, 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 come here. I can help. I can help. Yeah, I can hold this. I can hold it. I can hold it. Jesus. There this you go. Horrible. Nothing. <laughs> Nate, what are you doing? <laughs> this is. This the boys is this. are self-destructive. <laughs> oh, who said that? Who's knocking over walls over there? It's because I let go. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Our this walls are fully up. Look at this. This is insane. We got this, guys. Sean, I'm, no, I'm no architect. This Sean, hold it steady. 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 Oh, All right. Steady. 
cap. Right here? Cap. Yep. We need to put icing around the bottom. Oh, okay, here, I can help. No, no, no! Yeah, 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 right here. I'm gonna flop. Put I'm gonna glob it, along it right bottom. here. Put it right, right along the bottom. Right now. along the bottom. Oh, you the good bag. I thought you had right. the starting bottom. Right, starting Start at the other side. I know, but I... We are full of icing right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, we did this. Yeah, that's good. Hold it up. Yes, just like that. All right. Wait, is it locked in on this side? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, push down. There we go, Sean, hold that piece in. Where's our little tiny chimney piece? Hold on, hold on, before you put that on, Sean, okay. Nate, I need yeah, you to, to line the top of this piece with icing. No, there's gonna be a little connector piece here. Go ahead, connect that piece. Yo. Sean, connect that piece. A bunch just dropped <laughs> Connect that piece, Sean. Over the top. Oh my god. I told god. you to be careful not to touch. <clears throat> All right, hold still. Hold on, guys, hold on. Hold let on. Go. Let go, let go. Let go, let go. Sean, let go. Let go, let go, let go. You son of a bitch! Wait, guys. Look at this! <laughs> we did it! I don't know if I, I can't even shut my camera off because my fingers are full of icing. No, no, no. Don't nobody move. There's icing all over the ground, by the way. Christmas! Kristen and uh, Angela were talking so much smack, and the progress is just insane right here. The competition is not. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not a speed competition. You guys don't even have a roof on your heads. Don't worry about Jeez, it. Jeez, look at us over here. Look at this. Future engineers of America. Right here. Look at this. Let's go. Let's go all the way around. This is no contest here. I'm sorry, guys. But we're just we're Keep just it killing it. Hey, where are the dots? Where are the green dots? We gotta put we got some, some bushes dots? in here. Oh yeah, 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 we'll get some dots in there. Here, I got the dots right here. Seriously, ah! I think we did an amazing job. Uh, and uh, they're still working on theirs. They're taking a very long, long time. Oh, I found the pink yep. Tootsie. Oh, you yeah. found the pink tutu? Yeah, Should we add another layer? Should we can? Like, oh, but I would have moved the green one so it went pink, green, pink. Dang it. Look at this little guy. You can count on me. The thing is bigger than the house. We did great. I am like so shocked at how well our house came out. You guys don't even stand a chance. Did you have a fire breathing chimney? A fire breathing. Oh! Hey, what is that? A yellow one? Well, we didn't get a yellow one. We got chips. They just copied our snow. You stole it. You stole it. Our little snowman was so cute, we thought it would be funny to light his hands on fire because they're made of matchbooks. Um, but uh, it did not go that way, and now our snowman is two faced. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> From this angle, he looks like a happy little Jack Frost, but oh boy, he's definitely seen better days. Also, I love the placement of the Oreos there. We really did a great job here, it's amazing. Nothing can save us. We we're losing. <laughs> Ours is so bad. So our two contestants are here. I don't know about you, but I think this one is best. <laughs> I honestly don't know what happened, guys. Me and Ange were kind of just a mess. But this is mine and Angela's, and this is the boys. Ah. Uh, Sugar. Enough of the gingerbread house business. Now it's time for the hot cocoa business. And also, did I hear someone say we got cookies to bake? Are we baking cookies? There's a special elf coming back to bake some cookies. Buddy's gonna come back and make some cookies? His own special cookies. Oh boy. We're making two types of hot cocoa here, right? Yes. One's with oat milk. And the one's with uh, almond milk. The almond one milk. Is regular whole milk. Oh. Fancy. Yeah, this is the fancy way of making cocoa. What is this stuff? It's Mexican hot chocolate. So you put the tablet in the milk. What? And then it heats up and it makes hot chocolate. I've never even seen this before. I've seen it. I had a couple like Mexican friends who were like, their family was literally still living in Mexico and they used to make this. So I think it's legit. Wow. It's like a bomb. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a bath bomb. For it's hot like a cocoa. bath bomb. <laughs> this hot cocoa smells so amazing right now. I like it. Alright. Singing on an open fire. Jack Frost <laughs> nipping. At your nose. Tiny tots. 
Oh, look at this. Hot cocoa made by Angela. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Some nice hot cocoa. It's probably super hot though, isn't it guys? Yes. Mmm, mmm. It's very hot. Nice even coat on there, all right? You're gonna put the pan down. You're gonna get yourself some Elf branded Pillsbury cookies. All right, this ain't no brand deal, like I said before. We're gonna lay them out. You gotta give them an even space because you, you don't want them touching. Don't want those cookies touching. No, our first batch is going in. We're gonna put about nine. All right. You gotta have cookies with your cocoa. <laughs> all right. The cookies are done? We sang some Christmas songs. We, uh, the cookies are done. Look at this. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Aww, but look at that. Are these cookies all done? Ooh, they're good, very soft. They're nice and soft, and they're made with love. Yeah, tender and delicious. <laughs> Shoot me, do me! My head's not even in it. <laughs> hey! Cheers, everyone. It's the most Cheers. beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. <laughs> I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'm up behind uh, the mistletoe. Ooh. I don't want to miss it on the holiday. I've been this the whole time. But, and it sees me. It looks like we're wearing matching pajamas now from it's far away. Enough for this restless warrior just to be with you. And can This is beautiful. Cheers, here. <laughs> Angela, let me see your nose. Ah. <laughs> and of all the Christmas traditions that turn out to be true, it wouldn't be Christmas without the Kingdom crew. Good night. And with that. I think it's time to go to sleep. The cookies were out, and uh, if we were waking up tomorrow Christmas morning, that would be actually really amazing. I think that would be so cool to wake up on Christmas Day here. But we are gonna wake up tomorrow. We're gonna carry the vlog over and uh, do some more activities, maybe around the resort itself. Maybe head over and show you some of the food locations. I don't know, just kind of explore around the tree houses. It's been a fun night though. I mean, we had a lot of fun. Some hot cocoa, some cooking out, and just hanging out with friends. But it's time for bed. Time to go to sleep. And good morning. Time to open up the shades. There you go. It was such a beautiful sleep last night. And I liked that the sun was peeking through the curtains when I woke up because it was a beautiful view. I was just laying in bed and then look at that. Isn't it so nice? Nice little river view. I heard the boats going by. I really love it here. The treehouse villas are so nice. Time to make some coffee with the exclusive 50th anniversary Joffrey's blend and they give you the full pot here. Also, I never thought about it before, but isn't it cool to be able to fill up this coffee thing with this little thing right here? Look at it. This is genius. And then you just keep it going until your desired amount. I don't know why I've never done this before. Well, usually I don't have my coffee pot next to the sink like this, but this is great location. I can't believe nobody brought the French vanilla creamer. I'm gonna have to use the regular old coffee mate. But at least we got the 50th exclusive blend. This is the stuff. We need the French vanilla stuff. Now I get to sit down, edit my videos, 
relax with a cup of coffee. Very hot. And just relax. Now that we got some work done, it's time for some breakfast. And Kristen ran over and grabbed some uh, Mickey waffles and French toast. All the good stuff. Yeah, how far was it away? Like two minute drive. Two minute drive. Oh, we never shut our lights off from last night. Look at our Christmas lights are still on. I decided to actually switch it up a little bit and get something fancy instead of the traditional Mickey waffles. And I'm, I'm kind of impressed. It's uh, like a bread pudding French toast, but it looks really good. Look at this little guy. It comes with some turkey sausage and some strawberries. Kristen got the Mickey waffles and the potatoes. Always. Always, yeah, but I'm kind of really excited to try this. Gotta add a little syrup to it. But it has like something on it already, like a citrus glaze, I think. But I don't know. Everything's better with syrup. Just a little bit though, you know, not too much. Just a little. Let's give this bread pudding French toast a go. Uh oh, very syrupy, uh oh. Mmm. That's really good. And with the strawberries, but I don't know, I don't like syrup on my strawberries. Maple strawberries. That is really good French toast. It's like, it is, it's like bread pudding. But I don't know, I, I want to keep calling it French toast, but I mean, it's just bread pudding straight up. Just sitting out here, drinking coffee, eating breakfast, got the boats driving by. Very nice, very peaceful. Now it's time to head on out. We got to grab our gingerbread houses and hit the road. It's closing time. <laughs> And with that, we are back home now. The treehouse was so much fun and hanging out with friends and just having a good time living life. It was amazing. I really do love staying there and it was great to have Kristen, Sean, Angela, Nikki T, and everyone just kind of relaxing and enjoying the treehouse all together like a little little friend family you know and uh thank you to the world of dvc like i said they actually gave us our uh the, the uh, treehouse so that we can create some content and give you guys a little bit of uh awareness to what they do and i'll put all of their links in the description if you ever do want to rent like a single night stay or any like last minute bookings they're actually really cheap and uh you should definitely check them out like i said all the links are in the description and uh I guess that's gonna call it a day back home with Gracie girl and uh, Yeah, some more things to come for the month of December and of course uh, Christmas, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye There she is you miss me baby girl, huh? You miss me? I hear you've been sleeping in your doom buggy. Oh, that's right. We caught Gracie actually sleeping in the doom buggy. I, I don't have it now, but I did post a picture on Instagram, but she did go in there.